Dear students, the topic of this lecture is electromagnetic potentials. So we have introduced potentials in electrostatics, magnetostatics and electrodynamics as a helping tool to solve various problems related to these topics. And in electrostatics we have the scalar potential V and in magnetostatics or in magnetism we have the vector potential A. And the usual procedure for solving any electrostatic or magnetostatic problem is the evaluation of the potential first and then convert that into uh, the required field quantities in terms of the field quantities. In electrostatics we have the relation connecting V and uh, E and similarly in magnetostatics we have a relation connecting A and B. So that is a, a usual procedure. So this simplifying tool, that's the potential formulation, uh, we are extending to electromagnetism also. In electromagnetism or electrodynamics, we can see that both electric and magnetic fields are coming simultaneously. So both the potentials, that is the uh, vector potential V and the scalar potential A, are associated there with the, any type of the source associated with electric, electromagnetic uh, field situations. So let us um, refresh our knowledge related to the potential in electrostatics. Now in electrostatics, the point P where we are interested to find the electric field phi in this picture, the electric field at this point P uh, is related to the source term rho. Here a three dimensional source rho is taken uh, as the part of the oleum charge density. And we can see that the electric field at P is related to the source rho and uh, that also related to the potential V. So first we will find out the potential V and then find the electric field E. That is the uh, usual procedure that we uh, adopt in the case of electrostatics. And the electric field, the general expression, uh, the electric field at the point P distant R is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 oleum integral. A rho of r dash by r square uh, into dv dash that is the electric field at point p that is a vector quantity and that is directed along r dash and the associated uh, scalar quantity that is the potential is given by v of r v of r is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 only integral rho of r dash by r dv dash so this is the expression so uh, first we have to find the potential V, then convert uh, that into the required electric field quantity E. That is the procedure and for that we are using this expression that is uh, we have this expression del cross E is equal to 0 that is for electrostatics curl of E is equal to 0 and if the curl of a vector is equal to 0 then that vector can be represented as the gradient of a scalar quantity and we obtain this relation E is equal to minus del V that is the electric field is the negative gradient of potential and we have Gauss flux theorem as del dot E is equal to rho by epsilon 0 that is the relation connecting um, electric field quantity E and the source term rho uh, then when we use this expression uh, E is equal to minus del V in Gauss flux theorem that is substituting for E as minus del V, then we will get it as del square V is equal to minus rho by epsilon 0. And this relation del square V is equal to minus rho by epsilon 0. And that relation is called Poisson's equation and it is nothing but the potential form of Gauss flux theorem. That is the Gauss flux theorem is represented in terms of potential. So del square V is equal to minus rho by epsilon 0 called Poisson's equation. And the solution of this equation is this one. That is the uh, potential at a point is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 volume integral rho of r dash by r into dv dash is the taste is actually the solution of this Poisson's equation. So that is the uh, problem solving method. And um, in the coming to the magnetostatic situations, uh, the situation similar to that of the electrostatics that here the source is uh, J of R dash, J of R dash and we are interested to find the effect that is V of R dash and we will 
uh, initially identify or find out or try to find out the potential A of R, then converge that into the required um, uh, required field quantity. So, usual expression for the field quantity is based on Biot Savet law that is given by B is equal to mean 0 by 4 pi i into line integral dl cross r by r square that is for a line current and this may be represented in terms of surface current or rolling current. Okay. Now, uh, the expression general form is given by B of r is equal to mean 0 by 4 pi oleum integral j of r dash cross r by r square dv dash. So, this is the general expression for the magnetic field associated with the oleum distribution, oleum current J of R dash and it is similar to the Biot-Savet law expression, same as Biot-Savet law expression and the potential is related uh, to 1 by R, here it is related to 1 by R square and the potential here is 1 by R uh, related to 1 by R and it is given by A of R is equal to mu 0 by 4 pi oleum integral j of r dash by r dv dash. So, this is the uh, solution or this is the uh, potential that we are interested in the case of a magnetostatic problem. Now, uh, we know that for a magnetostatic system del dot b is equal to 0, del dot b that is Gauss flux theorem in magnetostatics or uh, it is the non-existence of any magnetic monopole. So, del dot p is equal to 0 and if the divergence of a vector is equal to 0, then that vector can be represented as scale of another vector. So, since del dot p equals 0, b may be represented as the curl of another vector called the vector potential a, that is del cross a. And uh, let us use this expression in Ampere's theorem. Ampere's law as del cross B is equal to mu 0 J Ampere's law where B is substituted as B is uh, substituted as del cross A. So, we get, uh, get it as del cross del cross A is equal to and expanding that del cross del cross A is equal to uh, del del dot A minus del square A. Okay. Del del dot A minus del square A and that is equal to mu 0 J the right hand side. Now, uh, what is the value of uh, del dot j? Now, we know that del dot j may be substituted as 0, 0 and this is called uh, Coulomb gauge that is for magnetostatic conditions. The divergence of A is equal to 0 and that is called Coulomb gauge and in the case of uh, time varying situation, this may be, ch this changes, del dot a is not equal to 0. There that is equal, uh, that may be related to the uh, potential V and that is called uh, uh, Lorentz gauge. This is Coulomb gauge that is for static condition and the other one is uh, Lorentz gauge that is for dynamic condition. So, uh, so here in the static condition we have freedom to substitute del dot A as 0. So, this expression changes to del square A that is this part vanishes. So, del square A is equal to minus mu 0 J that is as usual it is Poisson's equation. Poisson's equation. So, if the source time is not there, it is the applied equation. Okay, so electrostatics also we have del square V is equal to minus rho by epsilon 0 for the uh, region with source free uh, medium. So, it is uh, del square a, uh, V is equal to 0. Okay, that is Poisson's uh, Laplace equation. Here, this is the Poisson's equation, and we can uh, see that the solution of this equation is nothing but A of R. A of R is equal to mu 0 by 4 pi oleum integral j of r dash by r dv dash. So, this is the usual method for uh, obtaining the solution of any problem related to related to a magnetostatic condition that is making use of the potential uh, simplification tool. Now, coming to electromagnetic uh, potentials V and A. So, as I have mentioned earlier, in electromagnetism case, we have both A and V are coming uh, into picture together. So, that is in electrostatics, we have only rho of R dash. In magnetostatics, we have J of R dash. But in electromagnetism, we have J of R dash T or rho of R dash T. So, both sources generates B and E. That is both electric field and magnetic field are generated by either J of R dash, T 
T or rho of r dash T. And the aim behind this electromagnetism is to find V of r dash T and E of r dash T produced due to J of r dash T or rho of r dash T. And the method that we are use, going to use is first evaluate these potentials. That is A of r dash T and V of r dash T. This uh, vector potential A and scalar potential V will be there simultaneously. So we want to find out what is the value of A and what is the value of V. And after evaluating both A and V, we will find out the value of B and E. That is the procedure used in electromagnetism. So let us take the uh, expression for uh, the relation connecting the vector potential A and B in the case of electromagnetism by comparing that with magnetostatics. So first we are considering the expression for uh, magnetostatics. So in magnetostatics we have del dot B is equal to zero. So del dot B is equal to zero suggests that B can be expressed as B is equal to del cross A and A may be taken as the solution of the um, Ampere's theorem as A of R is equal to Ampere's theorem in the form of potential that is A of R is equal to mu zero by four pi volume integral J of R dash by R T V dash. Okay, so this is magnetostatic situation and coming to electrodynamics the same relation is there that is del dot P is there again that is in a magnetostatics we have del dot P is equal to zero. Similarly in electrodynamics also we have del dot P equal zero. The only difference is in this case we have B of R, that is this is B of R only, but here it is B of R and T, B of R and T. So that is the difference, but we are not writing this R and T. So these things we have discussed in the uh, third indirect, uh, introductory lecture related to uh, electrodynamics, that is introduction 3. So del dot B of R T is equal to 0. So here also this del dot B equals 0 is, uh, is uh, correct as far as the vector condition, vector relation is concerned. So B is taken as uh, del cross A. So B is equal to del cross A. And the solution again we have A of R T instead of A of R we are putting it as R T as mu 0 by 4 pi volume integral J of R dash T by R dV dash. The only difference is we are uh, interested in both position and time j of r dash t by r into dv dash. So this is the method followed in the case of electrodynamics to find out the magnetic vector potential A. So after evaluating the vector potential we will solve the uh, required um, problems. Okay. So coming to the next ex uh, expression that is uh, del cross E is equal to 0 in electrostatics. So, if this relation, vector relation is correct, then E may be represented as E is equal to the gradient of a scalar quantity called E is equal to minus del V and the solution is V of R is equal to V of R is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 volume integral rho of R dash by R T V dash and uh, what is the required modification in the case of electrodynamics? Let us check. So, uh, electrodynamics, in the case of electrodynamics, del cross E not equal to zero. So we have a term coming that is based on Faraday's law. Del cross E is equal to minus dou P by dou T. And also B is equal to del cross A. That is in the case of electromagnetism, we have B. The relation connecting B and A is B is equal to del cross A. So we are modifying that equation like that and taking uh, that equation to the left hand side, that part of the right hand side of this equation to the left hand side del cross E plus dA by dt is equal to 0. That is this uh, term, that is this term del cross dA by dt is included in the uh, curl of the left hand side that is del cross E plus dA by dt is equal to 0 and we are putting the terms inside the bracket as E dash, E dash, del cross E dash is equal to 0. Now, here the same relation similar to del cross E is equal to 0 is correct. Here also del cross E is equal to 0. We are modifying or rewriting this expression E as E dash. That is the only difference. So here we are putting E dash, E dash as the negative gradient of a potential. That is the electromagnetic scalar potential V of RT. So E dash is equal to minus del V 
or uh, del V of R dash T. So, in this case, E dash is nothing but E plus dA by dt. So, E plus dA by dt is equal to minus del V. Okay, this relation changes to this form. E plus dA by dt is equal to minus del V or E is equal to minus del V minus dA by dt. So, the electric um, electric field quantity, electromagnetic field quantity E is given by minus del V minus dO A by dO T. That is the new relation connecting um, the potentials. See, in electromagnetism, we observed that electric field is not only related to the uh, potential V, but also related to the potential A. Whereas in electrostatics, E is simply related to V. Here, minus del V minus dO A by dO T is coming. So, both potentials are coming together. In the case of uh, electrodynamics, we can see that similar to uh, electrostatics and magnetostatics, we are able to write expressions connecting electric field, magnetic field and their associated potentials. There is no difference observed in the case of the relation connecting the uh, vector potential A and the magnetic flux density B. Uh, that is B is equal to del cross A is correct both for magnetostatics and electrodynamics. But in the case of um, the relation connecting E and V, that is E is equal to minus del V for electrostatics, but in the case of electrodynamics, E is equal to minus del V minus dO A by dO T. An additional term is coming into picture. So by making use of this potential formulation, we are able to uh, simplify different problem, problems related to uh, electrodynamics. Okay, that is all for this lecture. Thank you for watching.